Ever wonder what happened to the Neanderthals? The story we're often told is one of extinction, where our ancestors, Homo sapiens, outcompeted them and they simply vanished. But what if I told you that's not the whole story? What if they never truly disappeared, but instead became a part of us? Look in the mirror. You might be looking at a distant echo of a Neanderthal. If your ancestry is from anywhere outside of Sub-Saharan Africa, you likely carry between 1-2% to Neanderthal DNA. That might not sound like much, but it's a powerful legacy written into our very cells. This isn't just a fun fact for a trivia night. This genetic inheritance has real-world effects on our bodies today. Think about your immune system. Some of the genes we inherited from Neanderthals helped our ancestors fight off local pathogens as they moved out of Africa and into new territories in Europe and Asia. That ancient DNA gave them a crucial survival advantage. It also influences our skin's response to sunlight and even our hair type. Ever been told you have a high tolerance for the cold? You might have Neanderthals to thank for that, as some of their genes are linked to better adaptation to colder climates and high altitudes. So. This wasn't a simple case of one species wiping out another. It was far more complex and, frankly, more interesting. As Homo sapiens and Neanderthals met, they didn't just compete, they interbred. Over thousands of years, the smaller Neanderthal population was gradually absorbed into the much larger, expanding Homo sapiens population. It was less of an extinction and more of a genetic merger. They were assimilated, their genetic line continuing not as a separate people, but within us. This completely reframes how we see ourselves. We aren't just Homo sapiens. We are a hybrid, a remix of at least two ancient human lineages. The story of humanity is one of connection, of merging, of adaptation. The next time you feel a chill or fight off a cold, remember you're carrying the ancient, resilient legacy of the Neanderthals. They aren't just a fossil in a museum. They are a living part of our shared human story.